Hi everyone. Today we learn about reflexive relation. The word reflexive came from the word reflection, which means that every element will be paired with itself. Or to put more mathematically, for every a belongs to set A, there exists the element A related to itself. Or in simpler terms, A A belongs to R. Every element must be paired with itself. Then it is called a reflexive relation. Let's see some questions on this. So let's assume that first A is equal to one, two, three. This is the set we are given, and we have to tell which of these relations are reflexive and which one is not. So R one is one one two two. Now this is not reflexive since I said that. Every element must be related to itself. So one has image one, two has image two, but three does not have image three. So this is not a reflexive relation. Second example: one one, two two, and three three. Yes, this is a reflexive relation since every element is related to itself. Another example: R three is one one, two two. Three three and one two. Now our definition states that every element must be related to itself, but does not prevents us to have other ordered pair. So we got what we wanted. Other than that, there could be anything. We don't care. This is a reflexive relation. R four is one one two two and three two. Now here again, three is not related to three. So this is not a reflexive relation. Next example, R five is five. So this is an empty set. This is not a reflexive relation because same every element is not related. So there is no one one two two three three. And R six is a Cartesian product with a, which is a Cartesian product of a with a. Since Cartesian product will have All A's related to all other A's. It will definitely have all elements related to themselves. So this is a reflexive relation. Uh, now an important point comes as to how do we calculate the number of reflexive relations? So if there were n elements in a set, and we were to uh, calculate how many reflexive relations are there, how do we calculate that? We have said that every element must be related to itself. so there are n ordered pairs of each element being related to themselves and we know that the number of ordered pair in a relation can be uh, n square so the left ones would be n square minus n so these are the ordered pair where each one is related to itself and these are all the left ordered pair n square minus these n now From all these, uh, these must be present. Then only it is a reflexive relation. So this is just one because they, this is sure event. They must be present. And the n square minus n, uh, how many uh, ways these can be present? So since each can be either present or non-present, we'll simply say two to the power n square minus n because for everyone there is choice. It is present or not present. This can be written as two to the power n minus n into n minus one. This is the number of reflexive relation. So if we were to say a is one two three, the number of reflexive relation is two to the power three into two, or sixty four reflexive relation on set of three elements. Thank you.